You know, people who go and get hamburgers and that. It's like people who go to Subway and get a six inch. Why get a six inch? That wouldn't fill my nephew up. You know what I mean? He's nine. Lad, if you're going, do it properly. Lad, I could, I could wallop them, me, lad. A lot. Lob off. And... And Ogle. Lob off. Lob off. You know, right now he's making a name for himself on Embedded, standing next to Conor McGregor. That's just because he's McGregor's sidekick, the little bitch. What? Can can you beat this guy? And is that the fight? Is that the next? Because that's going to put bums on. So that's not that's not the next step. Jesus, he's a step down. He's a fucking bum. Get, it, get him in there with me and I'll tap him in a round. I'll tap him quicker than Alex Enlund did. All he is is a sidekick. Give me McGregor. I'll fucking smoke him. Who's he? Aldo's gonna kick his ass, and then when he does, I'll kick his ass. And I'm sure the spars with Pad, and I'll never forget this is when he was a skinhead with like braces, and he oh, mounted, baby. he mounted me, and I just didn't even know what was going on, and I isolated one arm to try and get up, and I just remember he yelled it and punched me in the face, and then <laughs> never isolate one limb. Everybody's on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with them on that one. Fucking defo juice heads everywhere in that UFC, mate. As an example, when I found out I was fighting Julian Rosa, I was in a cave in Wales with Dex and a Jenny, having oh, the time of my life partying, eating food and doing stuff I shouldn't have been doing. And someone rang me, like, by the way, you're fighting that Julian Rosa, aren't you, lad? I was like, am I, yeah? <laughs> like, really, if I weren't a fighter, I'd be a diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you'd see me on them um, programs, lad. No, you've got to get a forklift to get you out of the front room. <laughs> Weigh myself on the Monday morning, I was 84 kilo. And in 26 days, I had to be 66 kilo. You know what I mean? And people wonder why I screwed up in the cage after the fall. <laughs> it wasn't the Ferrero Rocher, lad. It was, it was... Go on, Lenny, lad. Have a little cameo. Lad, no, if he starts trying to shag me now, though. <laughs> just lad, he done it the other day, and no, if there was a cameo, it would have went viral. He fought, was it TJ or Marias? We fought when he pulled the snake out and started throwing it at the floor. <laughs> oh my god, lad, turn it in. You're not on the Disney Channel. What did I tell you, Mike? Me and you will be having this conversation after the first round finish. And what happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. You almost got knocked out. You got caught with a beautiful left hook. The size. 100 duck sized horses or one horse sized duck. It'd have to be the one horse sized duck. You can't fucking fight a hundred things at once, lad. What if it comes in flying at you? It can, lad, and I'll body shot it. It's on the floor like us before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who was the baddie? Hamlet! in the Echo Arena. And Josh, that can mean only one thing. It's time for a house party. Yeah, strolling his way at a fairly fast pace towards the Cage Warriors cage here. And this crowd are gonna be very, very loud in a, about 15 seconds time. Josh, you've seen this walkout so many times, but it never fails to raise a smile. Has anyone ever loved what they do as much as Paddy Pimlet in the Echo? I feel like I've been nonced by Mr. Freeze, I'm not cold. How long would it take you to eat your own 
body weight and hot dogs. I'm a fat cunt, lad, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> at the minute, I'm a bit fat, lad. I'm about 85 key. So 85 keys worth of hot dogs. It's taken me a good few hours, that. Uh, catch the Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley boxing fight? No, I don't waste my time watching shit like that. Like disrespect of an idiot, like being an idiot. That MMA uncensored got on me today and said, oh, what do you think about Kazmat? This Nana just said, lad, don't even speak to me about him. Fucking Kazmat, Jimmy Changa. And he just put pure laughing faces and put, that's all I needed. <laughs> well, what do you think about Jake Paul, YouTuber turned fighter? He's a sausage. I'd fight him tomorrow and I'd beat him up. I'd like to challenge them next. Anyone who wants it. Um, I'm not really calling anyone out. The only thing I want to call out is the company, Instagram. Give me my account back, you lizards. I'm a proper bitch, lad. I'm not arsed. Uh, lad, my hair's all standing up on my legs, lad. All the proper USC officials are here and all the, the head honchos, lad. And they all want to see the new cash cow, lad. The new main man. So... I'm here to, to headlock Dana and Hunter and Sean Shelby and Mick Maynard, lad. I'm here to get them all in a headlock later and let them know who the new, the new kid on the block is. Lad, I hate them. They'll sign this and then sign it. Yeah, like, lad, go away. Already. I don't want to sign all them, lad. Nah, if it's for you, I'll sign it. Exactly, the real, the real fans. Not these little lizards who are going to go and sell them. I hate that, you know. It doesn't get it. Dada says Ngonu would knock you out, son. He, he'd knock most people out, to be fair, you know what I mean? He knocks heavyweights out for a living, that's what he does, lad, but he still wouldn't knock me out, lad. Hey, this chin made a so granite. Don't get out, he do don't. Either. Here he is again, Christian. Oh, yeah, yeah. There he is. That has to be the worst haircut in history. That's a proper bad shout, that lad, you know what I mean? I know I'm half going for the Gail Platt look, but... <laughs> People have my weekends and that are bad. Hey. Love these ones. Oh, that one. Owen says, lol, scumbag from a council estate. So. Ju just you saying, lol, you're a proper helmet. Anyone that says lol <laughs> is a bad tool and needs off the internet altogether. Yeah. If you put lol, you're a proper ming. So don't even have to respond to nothing after that. I'm not even from a council estate either, lad. Milton Avenue's a nice little road, hey. <laughs> Pilch Lane and that. Good little area, son. I haven't got to worry about me. You do that McDonald's triple cheeseburger thing. Yeah, that's it. Lad, as soon as I seen that they were doing triple cheeseburgers, lad, I was a triple cheeseburger, man. Didn't even need to taste it. No, didn't even need to taste it. I just knew. After that Decky Dalton fight, lad, I went in. I went proper in. And obviously the world went into lockdown from... So I fought Friday night, but then Monday, everything got shut. So I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to go and get a Mackey's before it shuts. I think I got like a fucking 50 pound McDonald's up. Got like two large meals, 20 nuggets, a triple cheeseburger, some of them mozzarella dippers, some chicken selects, and I ate every single thing. You know what I mean? Everything. I didn't let anything go to waste. Oh, fucking sad. Dad, I've told you, ever come in my presence with Coke Zero or Diet Coke, and you're getting sent home, any drink with zero sugar in is just wrong for me. What did I tell you? First round knockout, there's levels. Boom. How do you like me now? How do you like me now? How are you feeling, man? Oh, top of the world, son, top of the world. Said first round finish, lad. I don't, I don't chat shit, lad. I tell her how it is. We don't do it, buts or maybes, lad. We do absolutes. Give me with a few nice leg kicks, I'll give them a shoe. <laughs> My lad! <laughs> Absolutely. We're like, over the world tonight, oh, lad. Brilliant. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just having your beard in your corner, lad. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Imagine, imagine I turned up to UFC and was like, yeah, Laura's in my corner, Dana. Sound. She's just in the corner with a Costco birthday cake waiting for love one. Yeah, then. She heard the noise out of that. She's ripped it in the air. I'm a little upset. <laughs> Lenny, lad. Don't, Lenny. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> lad. Lad. If you're on it when you get in the airport, though, you need to fucking remortgage your house. Have you ever seen the fucking price of them in the airport? Like, whenever I go to get one, I'm like, please, love.
because I'm getting robbed, will you just pull the shotgun out and put the balaclava on for me while I pay you? And I just called him a fat, ugly cunt. And Swifter took my account off me. Just for calling him a cunt? Yeah. Get the fuck up. They called it targeted harassment and bullying when all I said was, you're a fat, ugly cunt. <laughs> I, I like his rail, I like his style, I like I like his personality as well. I just don't like the mad stupid dances he does when he comes out. Oh, All that choreographed shit. Oh, yeah. Let's take him to the first time. Ah. 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 Taken hostage five years ago, what would surprise you the most about the world today? How much of a gang of mushrooms Facebook and Instagram have turned into and Twitter? Because they're fucking scared, you can't call them on a fat cunt no more. It's, and then he put a tweet up today. Did you see the uh, UFC London? He, he quote tweeted and put, "Oh, I can think of an extreme, uh, intriguing matchup for this." <laughs> you think they're gonna sign you? Even to fight me, they wouldn't sign you. You bum. You know what I mean? You you miss weight by nine pound. Not gonna sign you. Are you for real? I thought it was interesting to see, like, I mean, the fighters, uh, the media guys seem to be completely, like, yeah, completely understand why he didn't take this fight. Uh, he's already kind of jumped through one hoop by accepting a short notice opponent, and then now the weight's all over the place. It's it's a lot of moves of the goalposts, so to speak. Um, but it's amazing how polarizing you are because people were jumping down your neck for this decision, right? You know, I, I can donate money to sick kids and people will still get on me back. You know what I mean? I do stuff for charity and people still get on my back like I'm the bad guy. You know what I mean? I, I can't do right from doing wrong at times. No matter what I do, people get on my back. How many grown men would it take to kill a grizzly bear with their bare hands? One, me. End of. I'll fucking double leg him and elbow his face in for him. He wouldn't like to take that hand, lad. I'd fuck his shit up.